Joe, I got a match in the tournament, yeah. You know, I should forfeit, but I did come here from Chicago, so maybe I should play my match. When you leave it, you got to play a tournament match? That yeah. has priority over Pascal. Yeah. It, well, I don't know, I should forfeit. What kind of competitor are you? Yeah. When are you going back, Sunday? I'm going back Monday morning. You want to stay for another month? Yeah. What? You know what? Huh? You said it out loud. You got, I got witnesses. I'm yeah, staying for a month. Only if you'll adopt me, though. I want to be. I want to be able to at least inherit. I got too many kids already. I want to inherit. Actually, at I don't least have the third. Many, but one more would be too many. I want to inherit at least the third. Have you ever played Sasan Gammon? Sasan Gammon, yes. You, you use three dice and you pick two. Yeah. We have a form of bluff gammon with three dice that's, that is even more complicated. It's, it's called pineapple bluff gammon, uh, where you can double. You look at the dice and. You look at your three dice, and after you look, you can double if you want. But the other guy doesn't see it. Huh? Yeah, there's bigger cups. cups. Yeah, there's different cups. Uh, and then, let's say, after the roll, you pick up your three dice. You pick which two you use. If you roll, if you pick double fours, you only get to play them twice. Doubles don't only play twice. But if you roll triples, you must play them all six times. It's an amazing, it's an amazing game. No, it, it, it doesn't take long to catch up. Oh, there's only one fish in the whole room and you go to bed, that's it? You use up the one fish, I, I it's gone. I, I had, How does that make me feel, I had, I had part of Norm versus Tom J. One over the head. The rule was I couldn't talk. I said, okay. So I never talked. I never talked. And then they had a... No one took a, took a two key though. Super gambling. I didn't say anything. Well, was it a proper take? No, no, no. It was a huge pass. He took it. And then he doubled, he doubled back to four. It was probably a pass. And Tom took it. And then Tom doubled him back to eight. It was probably a pass. And Norm took it. And we were getting gammon, and Norm came in with two. But, but still had a great chance to be gammon on an eight. But I told him I was about six. And Tom offered to take four. And I said, okay, take it. You said you weren't going to talk. He, Norm looked at me, and I said, okay, take it. He said, you said you weren't going to talk. I said, okay. I'm out. So what did they do? They took four. But I'd like to lose 16. We got lucky to only lose half. I'd like to lose 1,600. I said I only lost. Can you can hear take Well, he realized his offer was stupid. I mean, he realized it right away. No, he didn't. When he you just, said it. He, you know, he just thought it was bad because I said it. was bad. It was a real bad offer. Yeah. But he only thought it was bad because I wanted it. He thinks anything I want is right. I think this is the most insulted I've been the whole weekend. Then he's going to go eat now, right? No, he, if, he can't, if he can't play me, he's, there's no right point in hustling anybody else. Can I? What do you mean? I can't him, hustle you? Him. I'm talking. Oh. He's talking can about I bet him. on the PRs in this? Um, yes. Yes? Okay. Uh, he played a two PR his last match. No, it was recorded. No, not true. No, he said he did. How much? How much you want to bet? That I'll outplay him. Uh, on the PRs, how much you want to bet? <laughs> I'll bet that I'll outplay him. That's what. I'll bet. You bet what? I'll bet that I'll outplay Phil. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about bet oh. PR, Phil versus you. How much you willing to bet? There are no well, well, Oh, then I after I play out the match, I can kind of guess exactly what my PR was. Because I know when I play it off. Oh, I'm not always this way. There's a trick. I don't know what he's getting at. I'm trying to who, who, I want to bet who has the lower PR in the match. Oh, okay. You and Phil. Well, I play about you a five. Oh, I'm willing to bet that I'll have a lower PR? 500 bucks. 500? And Phil? That on my PR will be lower than Phil. Well, what kind of spot? No spot. I mean, it's not crazy. I mean, because I want to start you what, winning the match. I'll bet on him and I'll give you whatever spot you want. Will you spot me to PR? <laughs> sure.
Huh? Sure. You bet. There's probably two PRs. Sure. I'll spot you five. For how much? You can't win. You can't win that bet. Ten bucks, I could. I'll tell you. The, I'll tell you the fair spot between us. Yeah. About two and a half PR. Oh, give me a bar. That's how much better he is than me. I'll tell you. I mean, what. I could have. I could get hot and play at four, but I, it's not that often. Can I just bet fifty bucks on Phil? Just to win the match, no PR bet. He won't yeah. bet me that. You said you wouldn't bet me on the match, did you? Well, that, yeah, yeah, we bet 100 bucks last time. That's right. That's right. Okay, I'll bet 50 on Phil. Okay. All right. All right now, you're going to give me 25 when I throw the match? Good luck. Yeah. Let me let's stream it. By the way, I did catch our last match, and I did send it to Matthew. He's working on it. You should have it back maybe tonight. Yeah, if you get it, send it to my email. I don't want to yeah, I, I, check I, it I, out. I, I told him to send it directly to you. Okay, this Wait, is I the. Want one, I want one. one I want one caveat in that. Though. If he outplays you by one PR or more, but loses the match, I get a watch. Well, he bets me straight up. Why would I do that? Well, I will bet you straight up. By the way, on the match, five, okay. fifty bucks would be too. Yeah. Okay. He'll bet me straight up. So yeah. why would I do the watch? I'll just yeah. bet a hundred percent. You're not gonna do that? No, because okay, you just bet me straight up. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not betting. Okay. You want to do a hundred? Yeah, we'll okay. do it. Um, and let okay. me make an announcement. This is Roberto and Phil in Constellation, L.A. That's a pretty small thing. He has to play you by one PR, and then only if he wins the match would it be a watch. It's like why should he give you a freebie though? You're asking for a freebie. Not, much you got nothing free. to gain. Much of a but he's got, he gains nothing. What if he's going to outplay you 90% of the time, and the 10% of the time that he doesn't outplay you? Okay, but if I lose and outplay him, it's also a watch. That's ridiculous. Okay, well, uh, you and I got a hundred dollar bet. Okay, good luck. I, I, I'm on the fifty. I'll bet hundred and fifty. Okay. Straight up, just hundred fifty straight up, right? Okay. Yeah. Well, fifty with you. Yeah. And hundred with him. Yeah. Or two for me. Yes. Okay. We're splitting the Joe's money. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Uh, this is the consolation. Seven point last consolation. Chance? No, it's last consolation chance. like first round or something. Saw his roll called bullshit.
That's what that's what I want to play tonight. I don't want to I don't want them to tell us you have to come in an hour early or something. I feel the same way. You know, I'm already up, I'm already moving, you know. Yeah. yeah I might be a little tired, but it's I want to go to way. sleep. I want to go to sleep with a victory against you. Uh, it'll help me sleep. That's why I wanted to play tonight. I sleep better if I beat you. I'm not that good. I'm I guess totally overrated right I, now. Yeah, you've been winning like crazy everywhere yeah. you go. It's unbelievable. Totally should I have made the six prime you think or did I, did I was I right to do that? Set the pressure, this gets more damage. That's what I that's what I thought. Six prime was you know it's hard to pass up a six prime, but I did. I really thought it was right. Wow. You're a teacher, you gotta teach me. I have a good lesson I wanna teach you on uh that, that position, I got it that position. I was totally baffled at. You're right. I need help on that one. I didn't think it was a double. It does all the things. It's, it's actually a really easy way to do it. And I can't wait to get that lesson. I'll pay for it too, gladly. Tell how I developed. I developed a lot of it with uh, some materials that we had. I referenced it. Can I pause it for a second? Sure. Chatty? We're streaming, by the way. Oh, so that's like a free lesson. No, I'll tell yeah. you later. Yeah, do it later. I thought you just record it. I thought it was streaming. We're oh. streaming and recording. And it'll be on YouTube for the world to see. Clear. Everybody's going to see me beat you. Really bad light here. What is this? I we'll get used to it in a minute. Yeah. It's the only way to be near a plug is the problem. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I had missed seeing that number. I saw six one for a second. Yeah, I was wondering what you were looking at. It was I six maybe, two. Yeah. I maybe I misplayed it. You got to check around the bar. I was. I got scared. Let's go away to scare a guy. I don't well, care if it's for a dollar. Leave an edge and it's like that. You got me 50 bucks right now. So and, yes. and then you got to freak out about being you. left out. Well, that's more than I wanted to bet. I was like, he's worth millions of dollars. People don't have millions of dollars. I don't know how much he's worth. It doesn't care. He wants to get the edge. That's not about winning or losing. It's about starting out with an edge, getting the edge on the bet. People, he's hot. You heard about our bet in DC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we went to hedge. We went to hedge. We're going to hedge because we're in the undefeated final. Uh -huh. you know, it's like multiple, it's like four times more than normal. He said, well, are you going to give me points? Are you going to give me percentage? And I said, no. He said, you should. I'm bad. I was like, well, let's do this. Let's take a percentage. Whoever plays a better PR. Oh, I remember the bet now. Yeah. Yeah. That was great. But only the winner. Yeah. You know, only the winner would play the other. But then right. in the end, I didn't do it. But then he was. 
out fast enough and when we were done before it was transcribed. If it was a TPR difference, I was going to have to give him 260. So then he said, okay, well just give me 130 now. And that means if you played worse, you know, I owe you 130. If not, you owe me 130, like that was a swing. I just gave him my 130 and then he gave it back. And then he was complaining he had to give me 130 bucks, but he wasn't really giving me 130 bucks. I, I gave him that. It was like okay. my 130 bucks. He didn't right. lose it. Right. He, 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 that's it, what was funny. Like he didn't it. lose it. It's yeah. like I just gave it to him for a second. Yeah, you should, have, you should have written your name on it so he'd know it was your money. That's <laughs> <laughs> fun. I love John. Oh, I do too. But I'm little, just telling you, I we know who he is. He's got to have an edge. Yeah. You know, he made his money setting the football line, all the lines for the sports for, for years. And that, you, it's with it, you got to get a half a point up or right to get the edge. Yeah. Spent his whole life going like for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Spent his whole life making sure that the numbers gave them an edge. Oh, look at that. That's neat. You see that? Yeah. It bounces back differently. Yeah, it's great. The new rolling style. All right, so where are you at? Yeah, you could do bumper gamut. Oh, I invented a new way of playing too. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. It oh. makes it more of a sport. Listen to this. Yeah. You play on the table, but it's no edges on the tables all the way around. And you get like really the bouncy. The back of a chess people board. really bouncy boards. Uh -huh. And if it, someone rolls and bounces off the board and you catch it, you get to call one of the <laughs> dice. If they bounce off the board and you catch it in the air, you I'm get to call one of the dice. First of all, I'm but ambidextrous. Then, but then people are practicing it. You know, yeah, but I'm great. ambidextrous. That gives me a huge edge. Because otherwise you play with their left hand. You play with their weak hand. I played handball for many, many years and I became ambidextrous as a result. I love it though. That is, that is an inventive variation. It's one I've never thought of. Makes it more of a sport. You know? It sure does. It is a sport. I was here, wasn't I? Uh, yeah, I was here. Yes, because I was yeah. there. And you were. <laughs> no bar point. Oh, we could have made the bar. Yeah. Huh, not. Why? Why do you wait till I pick up my dice to tell me? <laughs>
be able to do this.
Exception with this one, some of the time. I, I we teach the one, the one you come down. No, but sometimes it's actually really? out. Yeah, it, it's, it's the one that's wrong. I, I still really? teach it that way because I'm only teaching beginners and stuff. I'm always teaching I'll give it the one come down. Yeah, because mm. it's an give easy roll come in up. general, but there's some exactly mm. with the four one. Really? Yeah. It's got to be close though. Yeah, but it's all close to that. Yeah. Oh, that's why you go for a rule that's easy though, and it's not worth it. Another one's like fine, fine combing. And I'd like to know the logic of why the four one's different. It's fun to find out the number, the reasons. David Rockwell's very good at that stuff. <clears throat> Marty's a genius. Oh, Jeez. without question. You ought to hear some of Dirk Scheinman's lessons. He's incredible. Aversion to having the three point when my opponent has the nine point. It's the equivalent of having the two point. Yeah, it's a garbage point. I gotta watch that play. That's a great play. I guess that's right, it's a great play. Yeah. <laughs> you for making the four point. It did. And it got you a bad cube maybe too. I think it was definitely a cube. Anyway, 
The one closer to the door. I didn't get under the covers. I, I just allowed on top. Sixteen and a half. They win though, I win sixteen and a half. How often do I get gammon? I wish I could gammon more, I could double. If I would get gammon more, I can get off the gammon. It can't be a double. Oh, you might pass. Could pass. Could pass. You just prove what a liar you are. <laughs> Good well, man. I could if we did <laughs> some other side. If bag. you were brain dead, or like Joe's <laughs> thing was in fact. If you were brain dead, you might pass it. or something like that. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> I knew I should have doubled. Pass after this roll. I might not double. I might be too good. Maybe. Be too good? 
I'll get another checker here. Let's assume I never lose. How often do I get a game? One check or two out is three and a half percent, huh? You're talking theoretically? Or? I'm talking about what are my odds of getting another checker? I'm not going to, I'm going to assume I get no gamins if I don't get another checker, I'm going to assume I'm not going to lose. So how often do I get the other checker is the question, because then I know it gets me 40%. We've never gamins. done that lesson with you. I don't know how well huh? you do. I don't know how you can get it or not. Well, there must be a mathematical way to figure this out. Everything boils down to math. At this score, it's, your gammon value is so low, it makes it less you're less willing I, to even I, go for it. I understand, but I, I, I'm just thinking about it. Somebody knows how to figure out how often you can win a gamut here. But you're right, there's just no way I can play on for the gamut. Well, you can just estimate it right off the bat. Yeah, but I just, uh, well. You could just say double what it is normally, and I think it'd be less than that. The odds of getting another checker here, uh, got to be 2%, maybe? That's what I, that's the number I don't know. Two seems really low. Two seems pass, low? Yeah. I went uh, four, six, two. Again, it depends how aggressively you play for it. And at this and the score, score I'm not going to be aggressive. Gonna, yeah, You're right. It's, I mean, that's what I'm, it depends I'm, completely. I'm taking a little risk and I'm probably going to W out in two rolls anyway, so it's stupid. I mean, if You're it right. was game and go and you yeah. needed that extra checker, you could probably raise it. Yeah. A lot more than the two. Yeah, because I might leave a blot and pair off and recirculate all kinds of Well, stuff. you're going to put it there on perfect to get it hit, recirculate, right. put that, you know. But I, I know at the score I have to redouble. I'm just curious about how do you figure these things and who does besides John O'Hagan and Neil and a couple of other geniuses. And, and are they figuring it because of reference positions or can they really mathematically figure it? That's the other question, too. I don't know that there's a mathematical way. I think you have to have a reference. The constellation or like this is the constellation, yeah. And a fun thing. And a fun. Okay. Six two Crawford. Got Three. I'm not sure I had a take there, by the way. Either. I thought it was too good. I was debating whether it was too good. I know you were, and I'm thinking it's either too good or a take, so you yeah, or drop, so you should take right in the middle, right? You average it. That's what I thought. Yeah, you should average it. So now I'm, I was glad I doubled. I was glad I took now. I, got, I know I got to get lucky to beat you, so why don't I play for luck? I mean, you know. That's, that's a theory. Well, well, for me, maybe I passed cube. I passed a high cube. Yeah, today. I got you. That's a theory. That's a theory. That's what my the Turkish friends always used to say. I got a theory about that. Right here in the room, I'm talking about a little like that. Hmm? I'm talking about someone, but he's sitting right there. I do that a lot. <laughs> Get embarrassed a lot, too. So who's in the final? Bob Glass and Steve Sachs? In the undefeated, yeah, if Steve just won. Bob Glass and Steve Sachs? That's amazing. In the undefeated, yeah. In the undefeated, yeah. Steve is always in the finals here. Right? Hmm? Yeah, Steve. he's amazing. And he, and he didn't go that soon in the Calcutta. I don't know why. You didn't buy them. And I bought lots. I thought I might do a stupid switch. Last time we still won't. Jim Pasco hits loose. It's a theory. It's a theory. I can do it, Crawford. 
mother's mother. Pretty well, considering I got up. I went to bed at the uh, one and got up for the other. Fives and fives make it attractive. <laughs> I made the rod to make the five point there. Where's that safe play? But it seems so chicken to me. Congrats, Bob. Way to go. Julius High has got a two double beds and he's got he's by himself and he would love a roommate. Oh, Julius High, call his room. Just add, just call the front desk to say connect me to Julius High's room, please. Hold on, Julius, Julius, what room are you in? Uh, he's in 1169, Bob. Bob. He's in 1169. He just told us. What room are you at? I can get a room, Julius. How can Bob get a hold of him? Yeah. Everybody would charge, especially if you're winning a lot of money. Have them donate to the McGrill Fund. Hello? I understand. I don't know. Hello? I know what my term is. Hello? Hello? Yeah, it's for a second. Hello? Anti Joker and then Joker Joker. I think he answered. I can hear him talking from here. Put it up to your ear. Hello? 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 No one. Oh, Bruce. Yeah. I'm going to stay here tonight. Just turn around. Bring my medicine. You're talking to Joe. Hello? You're talking to Joe. Call Chris. Hello? 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 Hello?
By the way, I think I, I'll play them at least three PR. I'm trying to get you a PR bets, make 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 back some money. He won't. He, oh, he doesn't know about my take blunder, so may, I'll get you some money. I want to have the action though. Whatever we get you, I'll talk him into it. Watch. That might be PR. I think I'll play. He made a couple of cues that I cannot believe. Checker play is good though. Just about the cube PR. Cruise. Why? Where are you? Where are you, Bruce? Where are you? I got my my board over here. Bruce, what? Going up the stairs. He's almost here. You better walk the room. You know, I'm going to go home. He's almost here. Yeah. He's on the other. Oh, you going home? Cool. You don't have Bob's. You don't have Bob's medicine. Good match. Okay, here. Okay, Unlucky hit is the whole match for me. Okay. Well, at least I'm eliminated. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Did we win? We won. Okay. You, you knew we were going to win. Why are you act surprised? Why'd you bet if you didn't think you were going to win? Thank you. I wanted to root for you, although I, I appreciate it. I love Roberto. But you, you know, love me more. I love you. Okay. Here's your clock. Yeah. Cool. I got very lucky. You know, I wanted that because this guy suckered me out of that. I know. I know. I know the deal. Well, then, okay. you know, this is you don't I want ten percent of whatever you get from the room charge. It was my money. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's got, uh, I understand. I lost money by not playing. Oh, he's going home. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. You played so well. You played. Cost me money. Cost me money. Well. The secret is out about Roberto. It's no longer a secret that, so he's, that he's a top, top player. Who I did. Oh, well, we got to read it. You beat Roberto? Oh, yeah, of course I did. I can't beat four twice. I beat him in four. I beat nine points. Remember that next time you play. I beat Roberto. Well, so you can't beat someone twice. On the same day. Oh, on the same day. Now you're qualifying. Yeah. Although, you're not supposed to say that before some play. I bought that before I had to play Chris Trencher in the final in D.C. I was worried about it. It's so hard to beat someone twice in a day. And Chris came up and said, you know what? No one's ever beat me twice in a day. And then I said inside of myself, it's not going to go. That's exactly what I was thinking. Thanks for all your help today. Man. I was like, okay. hey, give me that bill. I'm serious. I pissed it. I just take care of it myself and then I'll settle with Perry. All the money comes to me anyway. And I usually stiff them a little. In fact, I get a Twitch that says, hey, Cafe Cafe, there's live streaming right now. You can watch it. I was like, well, I can't because I'm playing on the live stream. <laughs> Are you on my streaming channel? Do you get a notice whenever I'm streaming? Probably start playing around 10:30, but it uh, could be 10. So. Well, what time am I supposed to be back? I don't get it from you. 10. 10. Well, you're not. You haven't subscribed to my channel. You're not seeing the really good shit. Whose glasses are these? So, Joe, are these your glasses? Are these your glasses? Whose glasses? You idiot, you bet on me, you, and you would. I'm almost mad you won. You, you, made, you made a sucker bet, and you can't lose today. You got a piece of you got a prop, you got a piece of uh, sacks too, don't you? God damn it! You always win, somehow. You manage to come up with the money. Never met anybody like you. The man with the golden bet.
Been done in California for the California tournament. Yeah, you can even look it up. Never before done at the California tournaments. That's why I'll say. Exclamation point. He plays his good buddy. Can I say that? His good buddy. Um, I just think that happened on my board. A black die disappeared and a green die appears. Magic. I'm keeping the green die. I'm the black die. Actually, that's all pretty simple. The Patrick has the black die with the green die. Uh, uh, did it have a serial number on it? A what? A serial number? No, no, it's just a no, small calibrated, a small size black die. Yes. Right. I'm just next door now. So I guess you're going to go do something. Is that all? Yeah. 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 You know, my game has improved so much now that I'm giving lessons. Yeah. I'm giving lessons more. I was always giving some lessons, but I'm giving a lot of them now. Matt Kongeyer and um, uh, um, uh, Alan Tish and uh, a guy from New York and a guy from Monte Carlo. And it's really helping my game. Because you think, my, yeah, same thing in backgammon. I'll go backgammon my game. I was hoping I'd get these so I can go to the, to the bike and Congress. I love that. So. Okay. Is it Congress? The bike? The one off of 710 and uh, Florence is, yeah, is that Congress? 
I know, but what's the city? Is it? Is it no Gardens. Huh? No Gardens. I love that place. They have the best war wonton soup. I always go there just to get the war wonton soup. And I love the place. It's well worth the drive for me. Where do you play most of the form? Yeah. For years I've been playing comics, but the place to pull that all in the park I started playing that. Bad players is a big draw. Well, <laughs> it's still not winning. Yeah, but I'm, not doing a lot. I'm winning, but I play a real small game. I play the one three game. And I play careful and I win. Just by not being stupid. You don't have to balance your poker player to win that game with stupid players. Yeah.
Uh, winning in the, uh, I, I've lost two matches, but I, I'm still winning in the uh, last chance. I just beat Roberto. Still alive. How about you? Yeah. Yeah, me too. So I'll see you in the final. Okay. You sell a lot of books? Yeah, boy. You got a good plug. Good. I liked it in the grilled dinner. I thought it was very good. Very good. Did a nice, uh, in the sun, I like the blue. It's a lot. Nice kid. Not the, not the right occasion for that. I made a couple of little jokes, but not much. It wasn't the right occasion for that. It wasn't about me. <coughs> when I, my family gets together all the time, and we have big family dinners, and our next birth and wedding,
Yeah, fine. fine. We raised some good money too. I we got a lot of the money that we needed. Not enough, but we got a lot of it. Well, not quite. We needed twelve thousand to cover all the expenses, and we we got about nine or ten. But we got a few. You know, Mike Svobodny will make up the difference, and I've got a couple of students that took lessons from McGrill. They'll make up the difference, so we won't have to come out of our pockets. <laughs>